Uh, let's say hi, hi to Oscar in New York. Oscar. Hey, guys. What's hey, up? Nice what's to up? see you in a better mood, Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Amy. Oscar, Oscar. I have something to say. Yeah. I was living in a garbage can, Sam. <laughs> I don't care. No, it's Oscar. It's Felix now. <laughs> I understand what's going on. Go ahead, sweet angel. Wait, we needed Jimmy for something. He was gone Friday. Big cock uh, questions? Well, no, there was a Jim, there, there was a Jim C episode we needed. Uh, oh, uh, that's true. Whatever. I can't even remember. Uh, Oscar, what it was what's up? up? Yeah, so I was watching Idol the other night, and... Um, Carrot did exactly the same thing. Now, I didn't see the first half of it during the audition part, but um, there's this one guy, one contestant, he's got uh, blue, uh, blonde, curly hair, and she just melted all over him. He said, um, during the audition process, she said, why don't you take your shirt off? So he did. Okay. And the producers of Idol played this up and, uh, and you know, showed and everything. And uh, I think uh, this past week, um, while he was on stage, she uh, she started looking up and says, uh, "Oh, uh, I, I'm a I'm a married woman. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm you know, I'm sorry, honey, wherever you are, but I'm in love with this man. You know, just, and you, play it up." And, did you lose this? Oh, yeah. Sir, oh, yeah. See, I have no I, idea what you're talking about. I, I'm trying, I, me and Ovi like made, finally oh, yeah. made eye contact, and it's like, I'm like trying to be because uh, 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 I'm thinking maybe it's me, I'm and I'm like, I think I lost them. Well, I'm trying to be polite because I, I mean, I'll, uh, I'll, we'll tear down a wall. I, we're kind of using you, Oscar, to set up probably another ten phone calls. <laughs> I hope not like I'm yours. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm Oscar. Nervous. Then you feel bad because he's just know, nervous. Oscar, I'm sorry. He's farting. I feel bad now. <laughs> he's nervous belly. Yeah. <laughs> gurgle, gurgle. And then I was like. <laughs> Is there anything Just worse? Hot, airy farts coming out of Oscar's <laughs> asshole. Is there anything worse than beating up a listener and then he goes, "Oh, I'm I'm sorry, I'm just nervous." I'm just nervous. God damn it! I'm. Yeah. You know what, Oscar? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I apologize, oh, wow. Oscar. Oscar. Okay. What, what do we got for Oscar again? today? Hold on, I'm giving you something. You want to see a real shitty movie that, that <laughs> we got some Blu-ray copies of? Uh oh. Sure. Uh, we got that dumb 2012 movie. Oh God, I haven't even on seen Blu-ray. that. On Blu-ray, it's a real shitty movie. Oh. Are they are they oh, hoping for a nice positive fucking? Plug? I don't know. Maybe there's um uh, uh like uh behind the scenes stuff. Maybe you could see they're how not, the CGI was done. They're not sponsors or anything, so you can. Oh, we just we, we just got them ourselves. All right, we'll give you a copy of that 2012 on Blu-ray for being assholes oh, to you. you. Thanks, Oscar. John Cusack's been in a couple of good movies. Uh, That's a good selling point. Not this one, but I liked him in Say Anything. I liked him in that, uh, what was that uh, Stephen King uh, movie? 1408? Yeah, whatever. Something like that. Whatever the hotel, room, hotel thing. room number it was. Yeah, it was kind of cool. And then there was that other one. Ah, yeah. The one where they were at the motel. Yeah. Thing. Uh, oh, identity. Identity. Right. Yeah, yeah, that was good. Let me see that. Now, this hunk of shit, this piece of shite. He was great in High Fidelity. High Fidelity. That's a fantastic movie. It was in that one. And as a young child in some of those old movies uh, with, um, you know, Michael, uh, Anthony Better Michael off dead. Hall. Better off Better dead. Better off Better dead. Better off dead, yes. Uh, Don't IMDB this shit. Top of I the mean, mind today. Just great movies. But now, let me point out, this is a hunk of shit. Well, it says, Anthony, 2012 Blu ray. Phenomenal. 2012 is the best Phenomenal. disaster movie ever. <laughs> it is a disaster. Oh. Towering Inferno was better than this. <laughs> oh, wow. Disaster movie ever. OJ was in that, wasn't he? Yes, or he was. that Earthquake? <laughs> best so disaster. confused. So, which one was in Sense Around? <laughs> What's some of those other disaster movies we got? Independence Day. Poseidon Adventure. Uh, that one underground with the uh, subway tunnels. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do, you mean with Sylvester Stallone? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. <laughs> Daybreak. Is that what it was? I don't know. I can't remember. Mo? <laughs> <laughs> that was going to go with Ben Hur. Ben Hur. <laughs> I don't know. Man. What day, was the what was day after tomorrow? What was the best disaster movie ever? I'm not taking this. This is Sean Edwards from Fox TV. Sean Edwards, eat a dick. <laughs> How could you say it's the best disaster movie ever? Um, deep Impact. Sorry. Same, <laughs> same, same movie, only one was really much better than the other one. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I think the best, I think most popular is probably Independence Day. I mean, that kind of started that whole, yeah. you know, that whole disaster movie revival. Yeah, because there were like the Irwin Allen disaster movies, which included the Poseidon Adventure, Earthquake, uh, Towering Inferno, which gave the 
the, the uh, it was the formula, the airport, things yeah, like that. Right. It was learn about the the cast, yeah. learn about the characters, get get emotionally invested in the first half of the movie in the wonderful characters like the likes of I don't know, um, uh, uh, which movie are we going with? Sh Sonny Bono. Um, uh, O.J. Simpson. Are we doing Poseidon Adventure? Charlton Heston. I'm just doing like oh, all of them. All right, because like, yes, then yes. you go with Shelley Winters. Leslie, Leslie uh, uh, what's buttons. his name? Yes, okay. yes. And then the second half is the disaster. Now you're so emotionally tied to these people that now you, you know, you're like, ooh, they got to make it out. Who's going to make it out? I hope they make it out. And they don't all make it out. Mm -hmm. That's like 2012. Now, is 2012 the same thing? Yeah, because you get to know the family. Oh, and it's then... a wicked piece of shit, right? <laughs> you get to know the Cusacks. Oh, yeah. Well, first they're Wait, in a what, car. What, Sam? What happens? First they're in a car. Um, no, I'm trying to explain. <laughs> they get in a car, <laughs> and they're trying to outrun the world, like collapsing. I, could you turn that? And then they get, they get in a plane, and then they got to get in another plane. And then they got to get on the boat. At the end, but the boat's gonna close. So they gotta sneak on the boat, but then they get stuck in one of the parts of the boat and almost drown on the boat. It's a, I mean, it's a disaster movie. I don't care. Trying to outrun oh. it. Oh, oh, there it goes. It's supposed to be for a list. 2012. That was a disaster right in the garbage pail. Well, just wipe oh. off my phlegm because I'm using that garbage uh, pail oh. today. Oh. You, you could get phlegm. Opie's sickness. You could win that. Yeah, just fucking wipe off the phlegm and mail that out to that fucking Yeah. <clears throat> the greatest disaster movie ever. Oh, come on. And as far as Independence Day, the, the one scene that took me out of that whole movie. Yeah. Was the fact that everyone was leaving Washington, was it, right? Yep. And the one side of the highway was wide open. Why when they oh, open I up know. those fucking lanes? Everyone, <laughs> if it if was everyone was leaving both uh, east and west. Why or are north you behaving the rules of the road? Yeah. There's a there's a zombie movie, and uh, at the very end, it shows zombies going over the Brooklyn Bridge, but they didn't have permits to film. Yeah. So obviously they they couldn't shut the bridge down. So as zombies <laughs> are coming over the Brooklyn Bridge, it's just traffic. It's yeah. just like nice, you know, <laughs> normal normal normal, normal afternoon traffic going right. back and forth. <laughs> 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 Look, they look zombies. I know the concept of the movie in general is 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 whacked, but when I see dumb little things like that, it takes me out of the movie. I'm like yeah. really, like they wouldn't, someone wouldn't figure out. You know what? No one at this point in time is going to go to Washington except for that one Jeff Goldblum and, Jeff. And, and his father. Yeah, but you could his father. Why is there nobody on this side of the road? <laughs> Shut it. I'm eating out of a yarmulke, David. I should set up a toll booth. We could make some change. <laughs> it really was awful. So oh, stereotypical stupid. fucking. Step and fetch it as uh, far as a, a Jew goes. Why does nobody get along the black, the white? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, F was one. This is nice. Oh. Oh. My David. My David. He likes math. <laughs> <laughs> You'd all be dead if it wasn't for my son, David. That really was an embarrassing fucking sellout. Really But that's horrible. like a black actor going, loady, loady, oh, loady. It really is. Absolutely is exactly like that. Why the the Jewish organizations should have jumped all over him for that part? And I hate the naive the naivete. Is that how you say it? Yeah, naivete. Yes. Of, of, like when they try to make a corny social point. Why don't black and white get along? I don't know. And that's supposed to raise questions and all yeah, of us. Yeah, you're oh, yeah. You're supposed to sit there and go, yeah, yeah. The really over the top Jew guy is right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't we? It's fucking so irritating. <laughs> and then of course Harvey Firestein is the gay guy. I I gotta call my mother. Oh, my mother. Oh, because he's gay and yeah. he has a mom thing. We get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish the the spaceship looked like a cigar so it could fly up my asshole. Because <laughs> I'm gay and I like that. <laughs> <laughs> not the worse than stereotypical gays in movies. I know. Uh, There's nothing worse it. than when they, like, it's even James worse. Cameron couldn't do it. When they try to make a point socially or politically, they're so bad at it. It's ham handed. Fuck! It's ham-handed. They smack you over the face with it. It really is enraging. In 2012, the crazy guy, is yeah, played by Woody Harrelson. You saw the movie? I saw 2012. All right. Uh, Woody Harrelson plays this crazy guy. He lives in like a trailer, and he broadcasts pirate radio against the man. 
And he what? Kn- and he knows. Oh, yeah. That he knows that there's coming. disaster coming. Yeah. But, but uh, oh, wow, man. How cool would that be? I, I feel sorry for people like Sam, the youngsters out there. Why? Your expectations are very, very low. Yeah. I take everything with a grain have, of salt. You have no idea how cool movies used to be. Well, in 20... They didn't just put pieces of shit together like this 2012. <laughs> there used to be a purpose to putting a movie together. The reason John Cusack gets to go on this journey in 2012 at the end is because... He wrote this. He's like a, an author. Spoiler alert! Right here. What are, what are you doing? I don't know if it's a spoiler. I don't even remember if it's a spoiler. <laughs> what difference does it make? <laughs> you're, oh, damn, you're right. I love how he comes in here in excitement and we just beat him down. He's like, who, who cares? Right. Gives a shit. You see, John Cusack's an author, and he sold very few books. Yeah. But thank God, the one person who's a big fan of his is the daughter of the president of the United States of America. Oh, oh wow. so wow. which one? Wow. There's two, right? Two daughters of the president. No, 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 no. It's not Barack Obama. Uh, why? It's Danny Glover. Oh, it is a black president <laughs> yes. though. Yes. Oh, okay. And it's 2012? Yes. It's uh, Danny is it, Glover. Is it after the election? <laughs> I don't know, but Danny Glover is the president. Wow. He's not playing Barack Obama. He's just the playing. The president can't get a cab? <laughs> like, Jenny Glover was very angry about that, he I remember. He was He was really mad. Yeah. Uh, Sherry, what's up? I was wondering if you ever saw that movie about the volcano underground with uh, Tommy Lee Jones and Anne Hayes. At the end of the movie, there's, like, an explosion, and everybody's covered with ash, and... This little girl points out that everybody looks the same, and they just show like slow motion of like uh, people. Uh, uh, a social message. Yeah, great. Everyone, oh, everyone looks like Al Jolson. <laughs> they can sing "Mammy." I hate when little children point out things that should be obvious to the adults, and then the adults take note and they go, "Wow, you know, it's the innocence of the child that that makes us realize." Look. We all look the same when we're covered with ash. I just thought of a really bad example of that is in, uh, what was it called, The Day After Tomorrow? Yeah. That new one with Jake Gyllenhaal, where basically in the end, because of these natural disasters, the United States becomes a third world country and has to rely oh, it's on... Oh, from Mexico. Mexico. Oh, and yeah. Piece of shit. Yeah, that, and then that's it, good. And, and then it pans out at the end, and the last line of the movie is two astronauts in space looking at the world... And they go, boy, looks pretty small from up here, doesn't it? Ugh. <laughs> Social messages. Man. And they're always the same. Oh, and yeah. they're God. always written by some douche. The type of people that write those movies are the type of guys that will fucking corner you at a party with a drink and give you fucking horrible. Me- you know what, man? My blood's the same color as it. <laughs> I heard that fucking sentiment 30 years ago, asshole. <laughs> Shut up. Don't spoon feed me, you cunt. <laughs> Let's say hi to Eddie in Jersey. Eddie. Eddie. <laughs> It's Vinny. All right, Vinny, you what's know, up, brother? Uh, that's in Danny Glover in 2012 was so bad, you could actually hear his teeth about to fall out. Oh, does he have the denture talk? Does he have denture talk? You can't understand one word in that entire movie with him. Yeah, I guess he does. Now that he brings <laughs> that up, yeah, I do remember him. Nothing better than denture talk. <laughs> they can't talk over their teeth. <laughs> Live long and prosper. <laughs> uh, Spock's giant fucking dentures. That's the funniest thing They're ever. Clacking in his head. Fuck. Uh, you think they'd have like dental implants a thousand years from now? Yeah, really. Yeah, you think they could be able to just give you something that makes you grow new teeth? Yeah. Uh, that far in the future, if we have a warp drive. But no, <laughs> Spock's trying to talk over. You have been and always will be my friend. <laughs> yeah, you're spitting your teeth out. Stop it, Spock. I hate Get you some for that. Space age effort dent. He I, did ruin it, didn't he? I Anthony hate you ruined for that. the movie because oh, I finally saw terrible. Star Trek, and that just took me out of the movie. I was just thinking of Anthony. His I started laughing. Clickety and, clack, fucking and, dentures. And every time he appeared, it was a very serious scene. I know. I just couldn't get. I couldn't get into it because Anthony's in. Might as well have those wind up clack clack teeth shoved in his face. <laughs> <laughs> and we all know the world's going to end in 2012 anyway. That's what the Mayans say. Well, you saw the movie last night, so <sighs> now you know it's true. <sighs> Why would you sit through 2012? Because I was um, in uh, a hotel, and I had gotten some nice uh, room service. Mm. 
-hmm. and I was jockeying through the, the channels, the on-demand, uh, you know, still in theaters kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And then 2012's there, and I go, you know, is 2012 still in theaters? This? No, but it, oh, was, okay. it was just past the still in theaters. Thing is, the still in theaters, I'd either seen it or I didn't want to see it. Right. And then 2012, I'm like, all right, let me see what the, all the hubbub is about how bad this is. Wow. Incredibly bad. It was a blockbuster. It, well, a lot of people saw that 2012. Did they? Mm -hmm. Did it make a lot of money? I, I mean, they uh, they did okay. Cause uh, I guess I shouldn't say it was a blockbuster, but it did it did okay for the studio. It was a bucket of shit, just a bucket of shit. Why? I mean, I understand uh, in 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 our modern day movies with all the CGI and everything you can do, you're supposed to kind of just take it for what it's worth. Well, Not be so critical about the effects, what you see, because they can do the impossible. But when the impossible is completely impossible and improbable and just, it, it really is ridiculous. Well, He's driving a stretch limousine yeah. down a highway mm -hmm. that is breaking apart underneath him, mm -hmm. yet he doesn't seem to fall into any holes. He just jumps over things with this well, evil Knievel limousine. Well, earthquakes are magical because uh, if you have an earthquake, you could drive all over the place in, yeah. in, in a limo. But on a regular day, if some asshole fucking stalls out, uh, you know, there's there's yeah. delays for hours. Of course. But if it's a if it's an earthquake, everything's magical. And it's okay if the earthquake uh, follows you instead of it just happening all over. Mm -hmm. If it's just behind you. So you're driving and being chased by the earthquake, mm -hmm. then you could probably get away. Although if it happens in front of you, it usually makes some type of ramp that you can then jump over a chasm a perfect with, ramp. with a stretch limousine, well, have yeah. it land, and still sure. just be able to drive off. Sure. And you could have a guy uh, um, take a plane off and, and for some reason fly it at an altitude of two feet mm -hmm. instead of, you know, getting up in the air away from the falling buildings. Right. Uh, he's got to fly between falling buildings. And it was just, uh, it was crap. Just garbage. John Cusack and his kids, they got to have the story about the... The, the wife and the kids that he's estranged from and the, the new guy in their life and, and how they, he doesn't like him and then now they got to build up this relationship. And oh. and is there problems with the, the new guy even though there's an earthquake happening that they're, they're still bickering? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Instead of going, you know what, I hate your fucking guts, but you know what, the world's ending, so why don't we work together and we'll figure out that other shit well, later. Well, they finally did, uh, oh, they did later in the movie. but uh, Wow, you made it to later in the movie? Which, I made it right to the end your, of the movie. That's your problem. Were I they, can understand starting a bad movie, but actually ending a bad movie. That's, they made big boats. That's bad. They made big boats. Yeah, they, they made well, giant now, arcs. They, what, they, I was going to say, they found Noah? Yeah, they made giant arcs because, um, you know, the earth was coming apart. But for some reason, the oceans are okay. Oh. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. It was so bad. Hold on. Let me oh. uh, let, let me say hi to Jeff in Cleveland. Jeff. Hey, yeah, I, I love how in 2012 the cracks just happened perfectly, like right between the finger of God and man and the Sistine Chapel, or right between the couple when they're about ready to get divorced or have a fight. You know, and there are always these great lines like, oh, I just hope the earth doesn't crack up, and then there's just this huge split. Yeah. And then the second, and then the second scene, everybody's like, oh, okay, well, you know, the grocery store just split apart, but yeah, hey, we're just going to go off to school today. Everything's fine. Yeah, but everyone's fine. Yeah, don't give me a cornball line like, you know, I just feel like something's coming between us and right when he says that the earth opens up between uh, both of them hey, stop it yuck bad dialogue bad movie all right sir thank you let's go to heather in north carolina heather hey boys what's up hey what's up heather hey just want to throw in uh 2012 had one phenomenal redeeming credit uh quality and that was woody harrelson played the best stone now conspiracy nut i've ever seen uh, oh, what is in that? Yeah, yeah what is in that? it was it was it was way was not, over the top, Woody. It was not his best role, but it was the what what other Stone Out conspiracy not have you seen that was better than that one? Um, I don't know. Mel Gibson in Conspiracy Theory was pretty good. Oh, I hate Mel Gibson. He sucks. <laughs> He's the only girl alive that hates Mel Gibson. Woody Harrelson was way over the top, crazy guy. He's broadcasting on the radio from a backpack with an antenna on the mountaintop while he watches mm -hmm. volcanoes explode. 
Well, that's what would happen now. Of course. We're all trying to broadcast wherever we go now. Yeah. That's, yeah, what, that's this what he was coming. That's what he was doing. What he always plays uh, his roles over the top, though. Think about yeah, it. Yeah, he does. The character was ridiculous. Not really? Sorry, Heather. Oh, well, Heather. No problem, Sorry. man. Have a good morning, boys. All right, Sorry. thanks, Heather. Let's go to Steve the Trucker. Steve. Hey, Steve. What's up, boys? Hey. Anthony, I'm trying to take all this in here. Now, you're saying that the limo and jumping over cracks and earthquake is fake, but yet a DeLorean that disappears in a flux capacitor is wonderful. That's real. See, this is supposed to be based on some type of reality. That 2012, the Mayans say that blah de blah de blah, and they're they're backing it up with this scientific data that is supposed to be true, and that it just um, no. I I could buy the fact that there's a flying DeLorean that works off of Mr. Fusion, uh, than I could uh, quicker than I could this fucking piece of shite. shite. Mm. All right, boys. Later. All right, let's go to Space Trucker. Space Trucker. Hey, good morning, boys. What's up, Space? Well, I got sort of tricked into watching that movie. I come off the road, my wife's rented it. And within about 15 minutes, I realized that the saving grace to this was watch it as a comedy. So it's my wife and a doofus friend and and her husband, and they're watching it, and I am rolling <laughs> in my chair, and they're looking at me. And the other thing about Woody Harrelson, I think Woody saw it. As a, a chump movie, they offered him money, and he and I mean, Woody's crazy, but yeah. I think he played over the top because it was the only thing he could do and save face. I think, he, uh, yeah, I, I think he just saw a giant payday for a movie that had a big budget and um, stepped in. Mm. I mean, what's really, what's Woody done lately? He did the Zombie Land, which, right. again, over the top Woody, but you know, mm -hmm. I guess he was supposed to be over the top Woody in that one. So who do you have the most respect for? Cusack, who I like, who tried to play it like a part. All right, why do you like uh, Cusack? Uh, <laughs> one movie, Pushing Ten. Him and Billy, Billy Bob Thornton, I liked it. Okay, that was good. Because he's not in a lot of good movies. I didn't no, mind not. that 1408. Was that the room number? Was he in that? Yeah. I didn't mind that movie. A lot of people said it sucked. It was, like, boring or slow or something. That one I've seen a couple of times and thought that was pretty good. Stephen King book and... Uh, so that was a shot of the Hitchcock movie, punching out. All right, thanks, Space. Yeah, that was kind of cool. Let's go to Mike in Boston. Mikey. What's happening, boys? How's hey, your, man. How's your dumb mayor doing? We haven't uh, got an update on him in Bob's a while. Doing... Yeah, he's a babbling asshole. <laughs> That's <laughs> it. All right. <laughs> Anyways, uh, me and my buddies made a drinking game of that movie because I saw it first with my girl, and then I was like, guys, listen, this movie sucks. It's a fucking comedy, but what I want you to do is every time a car leaves the ground, drink. And they oh, wow. Uh, limousines jumping in the fucking air. It was like speed with the bus jumping over the friggin' bridge. It was friggin' awful. Yeah, when the limo jumps uh, and just lands perfectly. Um, and drives away like everything's cool. Yeah. Mm. That movie sucks. Punch it out. All right. Uh, just, uh, what was better, 2012 or, or Twister? As far as over the top fucking uh, wow disaster movies, you know go. what? Only time will tell because now Twister is a, a classic bad movie. Right. This is too new, so it really sucks. But um, I, I, I oh wow, that's tough. Twister, I say, I know I'll because I'll I'll watch Twister a few times just to laugh at Bill Paxton mm. and the ridiculousness. Mm. I, I will. I shan't watch 2012 again. Oh really? Yeah. All right, it's got to be Twister then. Yeah. We have what? 2012 movies to give away? Oh shit! <laughs> After no. What? Travis is shaking his head. Travis, you don't want to give away 2012 movies? Uh, you you do whatever you want. What, <laughs> why are you shaking your head? This behind the scenes like stuff. Just bring it to the radio. Why are you shaking your head? Steve has some DVDs to give away. Yeah. Yes. And that makes you shake your head. Why? Well, they're not. You don't get anything out of it. <laughs> we don't get anything out of it. I don't get it, Danny. I think what what Josh is trying to say is like they're not. It's not like they're sponsoring our show. It's just this like, isn't from sales. It's not from sales. Steve just got some DVDs and where did you get these DVDs <laughs> from, Steve? Some Korean downtown. Yeah. What are they? Bootlegs? Are, are they bootlegs? Yeah. What? No, not at all. They're legit. They're from Paramount. We're, Paramount. Uh, 
It's a, in, we have, in Russian with English subtitles? No. <laughs> They're like actual 2012 Blu-rays. Because you guys wanted a prize closet full of stuff, so I got to work and started making calls. Only the best for us. Wow. Copies of 2012. Well, we got next My week. God. Hold on. Hold yeah. on. Next week, I got Sherlock Holmes. That's not ah. bad. Sherlock Holmes. No, Holmes. Was, it was good. It was all right. You see it? Yeah, I yeah. saw it. There was that homo. There was a homoerotic angle to it, though, man. Ah, oh well, now <laughs> you didn't see that. Of I course did. you didn't. <laughs> I just saw. I saw two men just enjoying each other's company. That's exactly <laughs> what I saw. They yes. were very close friends. Watson wanted Holmes's cock. That's really? The end. That's what that movie was about. Really? Yes. Well, no. Well, I can't believe was... no one else has taken this angle in this movie. Holmes was trying to keep Watson around. He didn't want him to get married. That, that that was a beard. Uh, God, go see that movie again. Watson right. wanted to suck fucking uh, Downey's cock there. Wow, that's the whole fucking the movie. Bold statement. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to uh, watch that now. Tonight. Watch that movie tonight, Anthony, I'll and, watch and come that. back on Monday with all the homoerotic weirdness that all movie right. has. All right. Watson was uh, uh, obsessed with Holmes in that movie. Way too obsessed because he fucking wa he was in love with him. I'm telling you. Our, comment, yeah. comment. I saw. I, I think. Uh, maybe and there, the and other there way was around. a jealousy because there was a yeah, there, woman yeah, that was involved. Yeah, well, a maybe, woman. Maybe if maybe the so other way around. So if why the, is the, the 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 guy getting jealous because a woman is around? Because he has no friends. Because he has no friends, and his only friend is about to get married. He doesn't want to lose his best friend to some to some woman to some icky smelly yeah. woman. Why would Watson hang around with Holmes? Because Holmes was a, just a drug addict. Holmes, a loser, couldn't get anything right. And Watson's gonna stick around. Because he, he, he doesn't want to be a doctor. He doesn't. He doesn't really get. He doesn't get a rush so out of being a doctor. So what does Watson to, want? He wants to. He wants cock. to kick he wanted down. Cock. Wanted it cock. comes back to the cock. <laughs> I saw this movie. I'm like, this is a fucking. This is this is Brokeback Mountain with some I beakers. <laughs> uh, I think you're reading too much into it. I'm telling you. Dude, I'm telling you. Yeah. Spit on the end of a test tube and just I'm, jam I'm the it only in. one. There's, there's got to be at least one more person out there that saw this uh, Sherlock Holmes movie and, and felt a little weird sitting there going, mm. why am I watching like uh, a love story between these two guys? Not on Watson's end. If, if you're going to make. If, oh, really? If, then why didn't he split? He was hanging he, around. Because he likes the adventure. He likes the adventure. He was of... confused by the fucking feelings he was having in his brain. Oh. And Sherlock was uh, it was all gay. I, I'll, I'd buy that quicker than I'd buy the Watson gay angle. I think the, the, the Sherlock had a crush on Holmes angle would be more believable because he doesn't want him to get married. Sherlock, Sherlock had, had a crush, crush on, on Holmes. Oh, on Watson. Sorry. <laughs> wow. That's like Greg having a crush on Hughes. Yeah. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Quite Interesting. <laughs> I'm telling you, that movie was a weird fucking flick. It was filmed amazing. I liked it. Dude. I was going to say fucking... beautifully, but it was filmed beautifully. What's his name? Guy Ritchie. Guy Ritchie, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that. And, and, and what's his name's acting was great, but... Downey, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Downey's acting was great, but the movie was weird. Robert, Robert Downey. Uh, is, let's say hi to good. Steve C. Steve C. What? Yes. What's up, good Steve morning. C? Good morning. I... I consider myself the Watson of the O and A show. I love cocks. <laughs> That's not me. Well, Steve, how did you do that? I didn't. That wasn't me.